All right, so I got a huge announcement. I've been asked uh, for the last couple months now if I'd uh, help some people, train some people, take on like a little bit of a coaching role within the running community. I'm happy to say now I'm willing to help anybody that wants some help. I can help make you some training plans, give you some tips, uh, talk race strategy, race courses, whatever you might want to talk about or uh, need help with willing to help you um, a couple things I'll say right off the bat I'm not a track guy so don't expect to be me giving you uh, track workouts if that's what you want uh, look somewhere else because I believe in more of a real-world experience so I want to have you training on stuff that you're actually going to be uh, racing on or just training on in general. So hills, back roads, dirt trails, stuff like that. I'm not gonna have you run around a circle. I wanna get this out of the way right off the bat. Now granted, you know, speed work can be done and it you know, can be beneficial on the track, but guess what? You're using the same stupid muscles over and over on a track, even though it might be giving it a little uh, <clears throat> endurance benefit or speed benefit on the track if you're gonna go out and do some fart legs hill repeats and speed work and like that an actual real world experience guess what you're gonna be better for it you're gonna be faster because of it and all your muscles are gonna get worked not just the ones running around the track the same muscles and over and over again so that's why I said if you want a track guy you ain't gonna get that from me I want to get you out get you on those hills get you on the uh, rail trails off the treadmill unless it's winter then whatever we can get you some miles and do some tweaking there because <clears throat> I understand if it's dangerous out icy you don't want to be going out running on the road so I'll tell you that right off the bat uh, no track work for me I'm not a track guy I never did track I never learned track so that's completely out of my realm and I think as an adult you're gonna get way more benefit training outside off a track than you are on a track and different things that you can do I'm a big fart light guy I'm a big hill repeat guy and hill work rolling hills and stuff like that and just general uh, like an 80 20 method of running <clears throat> so if you want to know what all that stuff's about get a hold of me I also if you want some help uh, pacing and whatnot if you want to go out one day one afternoon and you want to try to do a 5k 10k maybe even a half marathon uh, training run and try to PR for it I can help you with that obviously I race all the time so I probably can't do it in a race situation, but if you want to do it as a training run, I can help pace you, motivate you through the run, you know, so we can try to get you to that next level in a training run. Because if you can do it in a training run, guess what? You're going to be able to do it in a race, and you're also going to be able to do it <clears throat> faster in a race once you get that adrenaline and such going from the, the race atmosphere, other racers, and whatnot. So that's why I said if we can get you out and do it in a training run, you're going to be able to do it a lot faster actually during the race. Because <clears throat> we ain't going to be doing it on the easiest course either probably. Well, at least try not to, depending on where we want to meet up. So I can make you some training plans, or at least guide you a little bit how to make a plan. That way you could tweak it a little bit like with your schedule like week by week I can give you like guidelines how to do this what to do that incorporate this you know give you some suggestions maybe some cross training like some biking or just walking getting out rocking a little bit uh, lifting just some general exercises to incorporate into just uh, your routine not just for running because that'll make you a lot better too also, if you want to work on your form a little bit, I got a GoPro 10 so we can get out 
and I could run beside you, in front of you, behind you, you know, video you a little bit so we can see what you're doing with your running form. <clears throat> you know, may, maybe you don't notice that your arms are a little bit wider than they should be or could be, uh, could be or something like that. Or maybe you could actually visualize your feet heel striking and we can work on uh, forefoot striking a little bit. I do have some uh, tips to get you running on your forefoot because if you're heel striking, you're basically breaking the whole time and it puts a lot more stress on your uh, legs. Unless you're running downhill, then you really don't have much of a choice. Well, for dirt trails. <clears throat> One of the big things that I'm big on and very knowledgeable, probably more knowledgeable than 99% of the world coaches is race strategy. I love race strategy. I'm very good at it. I got a lot of tips and tricks to do during a race <clears throat> that'll not only make you faster, but it'll place you, uh, make you get uh, higher placement. <clears throat> just generally have a better time in a race. It's just one of those things. You know, you can be the fastest person in the world, but if you don't implement a good race strategy, where you don't do some of these tips, you're still gonna get beat if that's what you want. I mean, if you wanna beat people. So I'm very, very good with that. Again, if it wasn't for my race strategy and race knowledge and some of the like uh, in-race tips that I have, I would not uh, nearly do as good as I do. So remember that if you have any questions about any of that. I love talking shop about that kind of stuff. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Even if you just want like a little simple tip or trick, by all means, please ask me. I love that stuff. Uh, the other aspect is obstacle course racing. So if you want to learn some obstacle course racing uh, tips and tricks as well, I'm good at that. I have a rig in my backyard. Got some monkey bars, some rings, some different grips. I got ball grips. I have a Gibbons. I have a huge ass tire to flip. I have a couple sandbags. I got a bucket carry we could use. I have a sled we could pull. Like for instance, you know, you might say, hey, I know how to flip a tire. I go to the gym and I flip a tire all the time. Well, guess what? When you're doing an OCR, the technique you're going to use flipping a tire at a gym is completely different than when you're actually racing in an OCR. Once that uh, tire gets slammed into the ground a bunch or the, the ground's muddy, it's a completely different technique. And then again, with that rig that I have, maybe you're nervous to go to like a climbing wall or something like that or you don't have a rig to practice on. You know, you can come practice in my backyard. That way you can work out some techniques on your own. Happy to help you. My yard is about a quarter of a mile the whole way around. <clears throat> it's got a little incline to it. So I could uh, talk to you a little bit about hill repeats and stuff like that. Just building up your ankles and different muscles in your body. It's my yard does have a little bit of grooves and divots in it it's, it's very nice to actually ruck around the yard in a safe environment so to wrap it all up in general I'm ready to start coaching people or giving out more tips and tricks if you want to ask anything please don't hesitate to ask I want to help as much as I can to get you faster or training for a goal that you may have. It doesn't necessarily mean you want to get faster. Maybe you want to train for a longer distance race. <clears throat> you know, I can tell you what to expect, what's going to happen to your body. You know, things you're going to need, like nutrition wise, uh, what to take with you, what to expect during the race. Since a lot of those are trail races, <clears throat> You know, once you get into those higher distances like marathons and ultras, 
most of the time they're going to be trail races, not just road. And it's completely a whole different ball game for people. So I can give you a vast knowledge on different things like that, like for trail races. Hey, what kind of shoes? What do I wear? You know, it doesn't have to be trails. It can be road, trail, or OCR. You know, I can tell you different things to carry, what to wear, what to do, how registration is going to be, different things to expect. Again, what's going to happen to your body, what you need to refuel your body, uh, what to learn beforehand, and uh, different things to do as your body reacts to different scenarios during those ultras or uh, longer races whether it just be like whether it be you jumping from a 5k to a 10k or 5k to a half or you know a half to a full I can help you with that so look me up again I'm more than willing to help you with anything that I can if I don't have an answer I'm going to get you an answer because that's what I want to do is I want to help you if your girl is to get faster I want you to help you get faster if you want to train for something long, I want to be able to get you there and be able to get you there and have a good time and enjoy it. I don't want you to have a bad time. So I want to walk you through the whole process from start to finish. Um, trying to think what else to say. Again, if you want me to pace you a little bit or push you a little bit, let me know. We can work something out for time. If you just want me to video you a little bit, that way you could see what's going on and then you could decide yourself how to tweak it. Because maybe, I, I know it's really hard for people to see on their own what they're doing as they're running. <clears throat> so I can give you the, a clip, you know, to see what yourself, because that way, if you could visualize yourself doing something, that way you could fix it yourself too, if that's what you're into. Um, but other than that, if you need help, want help, just want to talk shop, by all means, get a hold of me. I'm here for you. That's a lot of the uh, things I've been doing this year, you know, with the different race courses that I've been videoing, different places to run. It's a training tool for me and for you to use <clears throat> to get better in your running career. Not necessarily get faster, but just better and have uh, a better time and to know what to expect. So, any questions, reach out. Please get a hold of me. I'm here. I'm very uh, easy to get along with. So, hope to hear from you soon. And if not, if you don't need anything from me, or if you want me to point you in a uh, direction to somebody else, by all means, please ask. I have a lot of people in my circle that I can point you to so please reach out either way I hope you crush all the goals that you have and keep pushing the limits of your body both physically and mentally and I'll see you out there soon